Hello everyone, thank you so much for tuning in. Today I'm painting an image of a water droplet on a leaf and I found the reference photo on pixels.com. Actually, I'll leave the photographer's name down in the description below. But I just thought this was the cutest little droplet, so here we are painting it. I'm using acrylic paint as usual and I'm painting on a 5 by 7 inch wood panel. I did prep this panel with white gesso before I began which gave me a nice smooth surface to be able to render the details. I also want you to know that I don't actually paint this fast. <laughs> this is actually sped up quite a bit and in total this painting took me about two hours to complete off and on. What caught my eye with this painting was, of course, the water droplet, but also all the greens present in the image. Green is actually my second favorite color. Unfortunately, the varying shades of green also posed a bit of a challenge. At the time of this video, I didn't have a green color in my arsenal, so I had to mix all the greens that I could see. There were some darker shades, you can see some lighter shades, some with a little more yellow, some with a little more white, and this and that. And if I didn't finish using the color in one session, then of course, acrylics being acrylics, it would dry up by the next session. And I would have to mix the colors all over again. So, you know, it was definitely a bit crazy of me to not have a ready-made green for this it probably would have saved some time and some paint as well. Speaking of mixing, the colors I use here are ultramarine blue, thalo blue, yellow, black, and white. Thalo blue in particular was really helpful in achieving the bright green shades, so just keep that in mind if you're ever mixing green and you need a bright shade. The type of blue that you use does matter. I've painted rain droplets once before, but they were kind of the flat drops that you'd find on glass. I've never painted a straight up bubble, <laughs> so that was kind of another driving factor in choosing this image, wanting to see if I was up to the challenge. The other challenging factor in this image is the background is a little blurry. So I wanted to see if I could render that blur. <laughs> Honestly, I don't think I did, but by the time I came to the end, I realized I needed to blend a bit more to get that blur. So, in other words, expect another blurry painting in the future. <laughs> The leaf in the foreground is surrounded by leaves in the background and from a photography angle that makes everything in the background a little bit out of focus and so that was my challenge trying to make the bubble and the leaf um, nice and detailed and sharp as I could um, 
because it is the thing that is in focus while at the same time really blurring out anything else that's not there so um, you'll see like swirls of green and and the leaf below has a little blur on it at least I tried <laughs> and any other droplets around has like a reflective swirl around it if that makes any sense yeah This is the completed painting here. It will be listed in my shop at shop.bedominique.com. Please consider subscribing for more speed paints, art tips, and tutorials, and I'll see you soon.